Joined by Hofstra head coach Frank Calnado and starting pitcher Brad Camarda following a 13-0 win over Towson to complete the sweep, complete game shutout for, for Brad. So coach, you know, thoughts on the game, thoughts on Brad's performance? Uh, it was amazing. I mean, we did what we had to do. You know, we needed to sweep, sweep this team. Um, you know, every game matters at this point, and obviously whenever I give the ball to Brad, uh, you know, we, we have a chance to win. I mean, to watch him work today was uh, was pretty special. I mean, his stuff was on. He had them off balance. Uh, uh, he made quick work of them. Brad, what was working for you in these past couple starts now compared to earlier in the season? Uh, you know, I've been working on Rojas a lot during the week and uh, just working on a few different things and starting to locate the fastball better. So everything's playing off that, locate the fastball and then change up slider off of it. And it's just been good. These guys make plays every time I pitch. So. Uh, Coach, Ryan Moore actually had a heck of a day today. Uh, thoughts on his performance? Yeah, he's, you know, listen, he's a guy that's going to be in the lineup every single day, and I'm happy to write his name in there. He's a, uh, he's solid over at, at third base, and um, and when he gets hot, I mean, he can carry a team. So, um, you know, he plugs away every single day. He's been, been having a great year, but now the way he's been swinging the bat lately, uh, you know, I can see him going on a, a, a big hot streak here. Coach, what's something that your lineup is going to take away from this Towson series after three great games at the plate and carry into the biggest games of the year going forward? Well, I think, you know, we, we were able to put it all together um, both offensively and also I thought we had some really good pitching performances. So I think, you know, we have that belief now and that confidence that uh, this is the team that we thought it was in the beginning of the season. Obviously, we got off to a slow start and, and, and some things were missing, but now we're putting everything together. And when the pitching and the hitting come together, you know, on the same days like it's been, you know, this team can show that they can, we can, you know, put up some runs and win some ball games. Fred, from a player's perspective, you know, building off of that, what's the move among the players? You know, you seem to have the last few games, it seems, like the swagger seems yes. to be back. Yeah, the, the swagger team. is back. Everyone, I think in the box, hitting up there, they are really composed. They're looking for their pitches. They're taking really good swings now. No, everyone's uh, feeling really confident, and uh, we're just ready to keep rolling. Uh, Brad, you're no stranger to going deep into the pitch count. Obviously, you're able to go over 100 quite often. So how do you handle that mentality on the mound? Um, you know, it's in longer games, it's kind of tough sometimes, but I just try to stay locked in on the bench, don't do too much, take my time on the bench, and uh, relax a little bit, and then just give it everything I got when I'm out there. I know these coaches, they always have my back. They always trust me to, to stay in there. So. Uh, I just really appreciate them having my back out there. Coach, we're going into one of the biggest stretches of the season. As you mentioned, every game matters. What's the message to the guys in that room going forward? Keep battling. You know, uh, it's the same team we had last year, a team of fighters, a team of guys that, that don't quit. Uh, and this group never gives up. So, uh, you know, we're getting back to the way we looked last year, and I think uh, we're starting to feel comfortable with that. And, Coach, last thing from me. Anthony, Di Anthony D'Onofrio was on a tear uh, as of recent, obviously uh, le leaving the game with what looked like a bit of an injury. Is there any news on him? Yeah, he tweaked his hamstring again. You know, yesterday in the game, uh, he thought it was only a uh, like a cramp, uh, and he said he was good to play today, and obviously he tweaked it during that at-bat. Um, we'll see how bad it is, you know, when he wakes up tomorrow, uh, but I would expect him to miss the next two games and, and hopefully be ready for the, uh, for the weekend. He'll be ready. He's tough. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys.